Are you so excited for my video? <laughs> I asked on Instagram a little while ago if you guys wanted to see a fall haul um, for clothing or if you wanted to see like what the top fall trends were. So I kind of compiled both videos into one and I'm just gonna talk about some of the things I've been buying lately and then kind of narrow in on a few of my favorite fall trends. Um, most of them are colors just because I feel like colors are the easiest way to incorporate a trend, um, but I do have some specific pieces that I'll be talking about. Hey guys, this is my fall trends video, just sharing with you a few of my favorite trends, um, and then just some of the pieces that I've purchased lately that kind of go along with those trends. I've been taking notes for a while, so I do have written down in a notebook all of the major trends that were announced at New York Fashion Week um, at just their most recent Fashion Week. So technically it's for like next fall, but we do start to see those trends kind of trickle in. Um, and if you want to be kind of ahead of the curve, these are some of the ones to be watching out for. So anyways, I just have my nice list here. <laughs> So many trends. Um, these are a few that have really stuck out to me and ones that I'm excited about and are some ones that I know that I can get on board with. Sometimes trends, well that's exactly it, sometimes they're just trends and they're just what's popular at the moment but it doesn't necessarily reflect our personal style or what we truly like ourselves. Um, so these are some of the ones that I actually really love myself and ones that I know I will be wearing. So I'm just briefly going to go over some of the color trends that you'll notice more throughout the stores in this season, um, probably more so than any other time, just because these are the colors that are super on trend. So we have, of course, like mauvey pinks and roses, um, a lot of red. You're going to see like burgundies, deep shades of red, as well as pops of bright red. Um, also marigold. It's kind of what they're calling it, but it could be mustard, it could be like that goldenrod color, like pretty much a spectrum of yellows. Um, we also are going to be seeing a lot more like military blacks, navies, greens, um, so camo is included in that. Okay, and I'm just going to read my list really quick and then get into more detail about the clothes that I've purchased. So I'm just going to go ahead and read these lists. They are compiled from things that I've seen on bloggers, um, different fashion show reviews for the like most recent fall season. Um, so here we go. Statement booties, 70s vibes, ringer tees, stripes, corduroy, um, sports chic, slogan t-shirts, the color red, cropped denim, so like jeans, oversized jackets, Icelandic inspired sweaters, leather, and camo. Another list compiled, vintage furs, red, glitter boots, western, 70s plaid, retro hats, Victorian collars, leisure suits, broad shoulders, nylon coats, couch florals, midi skirts, wide belts, and formal velvet. Um, another list, fringe PJ outfits, Florals, glitter, gold, leather, patchwork, neutral plaids, and pantsuits. Um, textures you'll be seeing are velvet, leather, fringe, and fur. And prints, floral, plaids, lots of glitter and shine. And for colors, of course, colors I've talked about. Lots of pink, red, gold, um, and like blacks and greens. I'm going to kind of start and work my way across. Um, so first thing first is denim jackets. I feel like 90s style is still super in, um, so you cannot get a, like, you can do no wrong with this. So I love the saying on the back, je dois le rock and roll. Um, I took French in high school and I love 80s rock music. So this just was like the best of both worlds for me. Um, the jacket is oversized, super cute, um, kind of a boxier style. These two yellow pieces I just added to my wardrobe. Um, this cute peasant blouse is a little bit shorter. It kind of reminds me of 70s style, which is so much fun. Um, I normally don't think I look that fabulous in yellow, but I decided to just give it a try and thought it would be so pretty paired with you know, shades of tan and browns and blacks, um, incorporating more of that 
earth tones like color scheme. Um, but where it is a little bit more 70s, I think it'd be super cute with like high waist denim um, and then like some cute boots and like a little fun hat or like vest. So I love this blousey top. And then this cardigan I have already worn on, well, if you follow Instagram then you'll have seen it, but I don't know if it's on my blog yet um, when I'm, as to when I'm filming this. Um, but this is, again, an oversized cardigan. It's definitely more yellow than, it, than the other piece, um, but that's what's fun is like the color doesn't have to be like exactly the shade in order to be on trend, like it's still trendy and still fun. Um, but something like this would be cute with a graphic tee. I styled it up with a striped dress, so you really can pair this up so many fun ways. This top here was by the Rachel Parcel collection um, from her Everyday Shop. So you can find other cute tops like this at boutiques that have the ruffled sleeve. Just a simple silhouette so you could tuck it in, wear like a cute fancy necklace, cute for holidays, um, but I just loved the red shade. Like I was saying, it's that menwear inspired, almost military style that's really coming into play. And so this blazer I thought was just perfect. It's got the big gold button, it's really structured, and it's that gorgeous navy color. But the playfulness comes from the floral on the sleeves, as well as like the shoulder and the detail. Um, but I just am really, really excited to style this. The shoulders do have padding in it, um, so it's a little bit out of my comfort zone, but I'm really pumped to style this blazer. Another embroidered piece that I seriously hunted for like weeks for this shirt, and I am so excited about it. Um, I bought a size small. I, I wish maybe I had sized up to like a large, just so I could have worn it a little more slouchy. Um, but it's from Target and it's got this gorgeous embroidered detail. I really liked that it was actually embroidered because sometimes if it's just applique on or printed, I feel like in the wash it picks off, but this is actually stitched. So really stoked about that. Just a simple, easy little shirt and it's got the rose gold zipper in the back. But simple, but so cute. Still has some personality. Embroidered piece I bought a while ago at um, Anthropology. I actually found this on clearance. I'm obsessed with the gingham and the peplum and the shoulder detail. Like I just thought this top was gorgeous and I had to have it. So that's my story. And I had to have it. So, and I had to have it. So. Another floral piece is this bomber jacket by Albion Fit. And I have worn this so many times. I think it's so stinking adorable. You can pair it up with so many fun things. It goes along with that like sporty chic vibe where it's like you want to look like you're in sweats but you still want to be cute. And so this is something that is so easy to wear with jeans or you can wear it with leggings and sweatpants and still look cool. All right, next kind of concept. This is just a little sticker, um, but two white blouses. This one here, well, let's start, we'll start with this one. Just super simple. You can hide the buttons. It's really long. Reminds me of that menswear kind of a shirt. Um, this would look so cute with an oversized cardigan. You could wear it with heels and denim. You could also wear it with like leggings and boots and a big chunky cardigan. Um, so fun ways to style this top. And then this one has a little bit more of like that Victorian style to it where it's got the tight pleats up here at the neckline and then the sleeves. This is what sold me. How beautiful is this? <laughs> I just seriously loved that it had the bow tie and then it had like the little flounce with the eyelet detail. I just thought that was so, so cute and I love that it's that Victorian old style. So anyways, yes, I love, 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 love it. This red dress, I love. Again, it has embroidery and lace. The detail on it, it's a little bit more fitted, but it's still like a long midi style. Um, so it's modest. This to me reminds me of the Victorian style. Pair this with like some cute pointed toe boots and like a little hat and then you have that Victorian-esque kind of look. Like I said that that mauvey rosy pink color is super on trend so just two really simple dresses. Honestly they just both have pockets and they're midi length. <laughs> they're kind of an oversized like sheath. Um, kind of a fit. They're not super snug to the body like a bodycon um, and that, that's why I really liked them. They're great for layering, simple enough that you can add 
you know, your own flair to how you want to style them, but the colors make them so on trend, um, but the silhouettes keep them, you know, timeless, so you can keep them forever. A couple of tees that I love are my Albion Fit t-shirts. I have the crew neck and the v-neck. Again, with the colors, you know, just finding great basics in colors that are maybe a little more on trend um, is definitely something that's more affordable and also a little bit more practical. Um, just because some of these other trends might be a little out there, you know, like the Victorian, lots of lace, high necks. <coughs> you don't know if that's gonna be in style forever. It's probably not. Um, and so if you just wanted to get some basics that honestly, I love the color pink and I love the color green. So to me, these are no brainers that I would wear these literally forever, any season with anything. So pieces like this really come in handy because they're practical and they fit my lifestyle. Okay, a couple more tees, same concept. Well, sweaters, I guess, and you can see I'm wearing mine too. This is a sweater I bought months ago at the Nordstrom anniversary sale and I just can't stop buying this like mauve blush. So again, just finding great basics in colors that you like or colors that are on trend. Um, you'll wear them again and again. And last two pieces here on the clothing rack. So this green, kind of a chiffon top. I just love the color and I love the silhouette. Um, this is from Abercrombie and I've styled this a few times on my blog. And then this sweater I've also worn on my blog. And again, just great basics. These nest, like these last few items aren't necessarily like trendy, but they do fit like kind of in my fall haul. <laughs> Cause this kind of counts as what I've been buying lately for fall. And so I'm kind of looping them all into one video. Uh, but I just thought I'd share just a couple of pieces cause I'm obsessed with them and I seriously wear these all the time. All right, and quick, I just have two last things to talk about, um, and that's kind of the major shoe trends. Um, so you'll be seeing a lot, if you have not already, sock booties. Um, these I actually bought last year at H&M. They're a navy color, so they kind of fit that military vibe as well. Um, but the thing about the sock booties is this year, the shaft comes up even higher up your ankle. Um, like probably two or three more inches. So that's the thing to be on the lookout for if you want to go really with the trend, find something that has an extremely pointed toe and has that tall, tall like leg shaft. Um, it's super Victorian, looks super cool. I really, really want to get some new boots this year. And of course, if you follow me, you know you've seen these a zillion times. Um, these are the halogen mules. Um, I seriously love them to death. Um, it could be that I'm pregnant and I just want comfy and easy and to not risk falling. So flat shoes are a must. Um, but honestly, the pop of leopard is so cute. It's so easy to throw these on and like feel like I'm effortless, but I still look a little bit cool. Um, every time I wear them, someone asks me where I got my shoes. Um, and that's a really cool feeling. So definitely mules are super on trend. You can find them in heels. Um, almost like a booty version, um, and then of course flats, but yeah, mules are super on trend, and the pointier the toe, I think the better. All right, thank you, and that is my fall trends slash what I've been buying lately, um, getting ready for fall, um, you know, as I've been pregnant, it's been a little bit hard to shop because I want to buy things that fit currently, but I've also been trying to plan ahead a little bit, so a lot of these things I will be wearing <laughs> once I don't have a baby bump. Um, so I'm really, really excited to get styling these items and show you them on my blog. I wanna know, do you have a favorite trend? Is there something that you're loving or hating? Or, um, yeah, I just wanna know. I'm a curious bird. So leave, leave down in the comments what you love. If you like my videos, I would love if you would subscribe, um, like my videos. I'm so grateful for your support and all of your help in deciding which videos I should film. It's so much fun to see what you guys want to see. Um, so if you have any suggestions for videos, let me know.